Following on from our previous video, we got to this stage here where the volume is given by by this. So it's just us. It's just a matter of us evaluating this now. But I, I just want to um, point out something very important. So looking at this, you've got a a nested integration. What when you look at this, this is going to be parallel to the whatever's here. In this case, it's parallel to the y axis. So it's moving parallel to the y axis. And then um, you so so that means that whatever you specify here it has to be y equals something it can't be x equals something so here you can see that y starts at zero and then it stops at, at this y equals something up here well it stops at here which is y equals a half so so this what's important is that this must match up with whatever's here in this case it's y and then uh, what's what's on the outside here must match up with this and this so um so you can see that you're scanning from you're scanning like this from if you look at dx here you're scanning from x equals 0 to x equals 2 x so this thing here must match up with x and what else, and this y here must match up with this y so this is one way of setting up the volume the other way of doing it is this if um, if you want to move in the x direction first, um, mo meaning you're, you're, you're moving in parallel to the x-axis, so you're moving like this, you're moving like this. So that means x, this x must equal something, x must equal something. So x, x must match up with this x here. Um, uh, and then you're moving from x equals, x equals what? Well, time, x equals x equals 2y so really you're moving from x equals 2y which is here to whatever's here to x equals 2 so what's important is this x and this x must match up with whatever's here this is x and then looking at the outer integral outer integral well the outer integral is always going to be a boundary uh, a constant boundary uh, meaning Look, this is constant of one, constant of zero. So you can see that you're scanning all the way through. So y has to be y equals zero, and then it stops at one. So so this is a constant boundary. This is a constant boundary. This um, this is a, a function boundary. This one here is a function. So what's important is that the outer integral here has to be uh, a constant boundary so really this is a constant here um, y equals 0 and this is a constant here y equals 1 so uh, it has to scan all the way through from y equals 0 to y equals 1 so it's scanning all the way through so it's it's really scanning so this is a constant constant is scanning if you if you if you're using this technique here you're scanning from here to here 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 and then you stop at y equals one y equals y equals one from y equals zero well anyway we've done this we're, we're currently at this stage here so now it's just a matter of ev evaluating this so looking at the inner integral we need to integrate it with respect to y so this is a constant so imagine as two blocks this block here is a constant so when you integrate this this is a constant, so, well, it's going to be y to the power 4. y to the power 4 over 4. This is just a constant. 2x squared. It gets multiplied to the top, so that, that leaves you with a half here. And then this is just a constant. And then you've got y to the power 4. Well, well integrating this with respect to y will give you this. And we're, we're doing it from y equals 0 to y equals uh, x over 2. So now we need to put this into the y and then uh, and then take away take away and then you put this into the y here. So how, let's start again here. Put this into here that would be this x squared here would be this. When you when you uh, when you power it by 4 it would be x to the power of 4 and then 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 would be 16 and then you've got your half here and then you take away and then put 0 into here which would be 0 so we can forget about that so anyway you putting this into here it will then give you this 
and then if you tidy this up it will give you this it will give you this because x squared times x to the power 4 and blah 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 if you tidy it up it will give you this so now integrate it again with respect to x so that would be x to the power of 7 and then you've got a, a 1 7th um, well anyway integrating it from 0 to 2 from 0 to 2 so now put 2 into here that would be uh, 2 to the power of 7 uh, and then and then you take away and then put 0 into here which would be 0 so the um, the whole volume is given by this okay